Um, the Urban Technology Project is an IT apprenticeship program. And so apprenticeships are still kind of a new term, but not really when you think of it in the building trades industry. An apprenticeship is essentially a paid tech training program is what we're offering. Our mission is focused on increasing diversity in tech. Currently, the numbers are really dismal when, it look, when you look at diversity. So right now, 82% are white and Asian males. 8% are Hispanic, 7% are African American. So it is a huge opportunity for us to make a difference in this space by providing access to this amazing industry, right? And so those who, the talent that is typically overlooked and discounted because they don't have the experience and the credentials um, are women and people of color. So our program, our mission is to remove that barrier to entry and create access through training hands-on experience, mentorship, and certification. Our program is 20 years old. We're happy to be celebrating our 20th anniversary. At one point, I gave up teaching because I just wasn't getting anything done. And I said to the students, okay, what interests you? What do you want to learn? I was a biology teacher then. They said, technology. What came out of that conversation was my first understanding that I needed to think differently about how I wanted to teach and how I can work with my students. So I listened to them and I said, hmm, I don't know anything about technology either. How do we do this? So I'll tell you what, why don't we do some things after school who can come because I still have to teach you and let's come up with a concept. I said, let's figure out what we want to do as a group. So we came up with the concept of Latinos who wanted to go into technology to make a difference to their community. And so we came up with this name of Latino Tech. We figured out how to get computers from the University of Pennsylvania, from some corporations. We refurbished computers. We learned how to do basic HTML, troubleshooting. We started sort of doing those things. And then the following year, 1996-97, what happened was that other young people wanted to join who were not Latinos. African American young people, some of the Southeast Asian, refugees, Southeast Asian refugees, and we had to have a hard conversation. Do we become exclusive or do we become inclusive? And the beauty about it is, I can't tell you who came up with the name, but we had this ongoing drag on conversation where at the end of that meeting, the team said, we're gonna be inclusive. And Urban Tech was born. It was exciting because we didn't know what we, get, we were getting ourselves into. It felt like a bunch of high school kids trying to figure this thing out. And we were the first year, so we made all the mistakes. We <laughs> did everything wrong, but we did everything right. The school district of Philadelphia, you know, really embraced this model. And specifically at the time it was called the Educational Technology Group, you know, really took this under the, the department and uh, gave us the ability to grow the model along with two other nonprofit organizations, Launch Philly, which was originally called Communities and Schools of Philadelphia, as well as Education Works. When I think generally of the apprentices that I've been able to work with over the last two years and the stories that I've heard, what really rings clear as a success story and that kind of, it's, it's a similar thread that runs through a lot of folks' stories is one, not knowing what they wanted to do, and then two, finding themselves in college and feeling like this wasn't the right place for me, right? And so I hear that story over and over again. I think that's such a success that folks have been able to find their way in our program. It's truly amazing how many participants of the Urban Technology Project have gone on to be IT professionals. We have a bunch of apprentices that work for the School District of Philadelphia in our IT department. I just love hearing from graduates. Sometimes they'll you know, message me on LinkedIn and tell me where they are and tell me that they've started this exciting job or that they've started started a family or that they've bought a house. And, and those are just immeasurable. This is my second year, so I came back, honestly, for the kids, because that, that experience in itself is, it makes you feel whole working with kids. So that's why I love UTP. I work for Braves um, and I am a lead systems administrator. They showed me that it was, that I can be a tech professional just by joining UTP. Uh, it gave me the initial tools as well as the backing and support to become a tech professional. I currently am an IT administrator. UTP has helped me develop my uh, career in, in 
pretty much um, every way, essentially. I would say that a lot of what I learned through UTP, both personally and professionally, really kind of set the foundation for where I am today. I can never look back at my career and not say that without where, you know, without the foundation that I started at UTP, that I would be where I am. Currently, I'm a uh, senior security architect. I work within cybersecurity at uh, Comcast. We have 20 years behind us, but we also have 20 years ahead of us and even more. I see that the program is going to continue to expand to other occupational tracks in tech. Definitely because this is such a booming um, and growth industry, there's lots of other um, sectors within tech including cybersecurity or networking or design or digital media. So I see that in the future, you know, every five to 10 years, adding a new occupation so that we can appeal to more individuals that want to pursue other careers in tech. It's truly amazing how the program has been able to adjust and adapt itself over the past 20 years with all the technology innovations that have come about. So I would humbly like to thank UTP for helping me start the foundations of my career. Thank you, UTP. Thank you, UTP. So, so I really appreciate everything that UTP has given to me and provided to me. Thank you, UTP. Thank you, all of you guys. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks.